What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and today I've got a really fun sort of rabbit gameplay tutorial where I just found the image of this uh, building uh, online and I thought well that's an interesting challenge to try to model in rabbit and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's tutorial. Uh, so we're going to be using the massing environment in order to generate this complex shape and then we're going to be adding some floors as those are what defines the whole facade of this building. I think it looks really cool and it's a fun little Revit challenge. Uh, now, if you're interested in uh, advanced modeling in Revit and exploring the massing environment in depth, I actually have a course for that available on my website. That's going to be the first link just below the video in the description. So check it out if you're interested. Uh, it basically includes uh, a lot of information about uh, advanced modeling, uh, conceptual design, uh, advanced massing in Revit, and much, much more. Uh, and also, if you're interested in my Revit project files, like this file that we're going to be creating today, as well as all of my other Revit project files, well, all of them are available on my Patreon page, which is going to be the second link just below the video. So check that out if you're interested as well. And uh, before I get into the video, just make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. It really helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. It recommends this video then more to other YouTube users which may find it helpful so that's really nice okay so without any further ado let's get straight into Revit and here we are in Revit so let's immediately get started by going here straight into models and then going for new and for the template file I'm going to choose my personal Balkan architect template the metric version uh, now if you're interested in my templates about either the metric or the imperial versions uh, you can find both on my website balkanarctic.com that's going to be the third link in the description let's now just click OK and then Revit is going to start right up and as soon as Revit starts up, we're just going to go into the massing environment where we're going to be uh, modeling this building. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, let's just first go here to the south elevation. And then I just want to change the levels a little bit. So let me change the, the level too and go just a little bit higher, perhaps go up to... 50 meters or something like that. I, I, I'm guessing this building is even higher than that, uh, but just for this kind of quick demonstration, let's go up to 50. Maybe we're, we're going to be creating a bit smaller uh, scale building than, uh, than that one. Uh, but anyways, uh, once we have something that, that looks like this, maybe go down to 40. I don't know. I don't want to go too far. So anyways, uh, once we have the level set up, uh, now we can go here to the Masking and Sight tab. And before we go to the in-place mass, what we need to do is to turn the show mass on. So once we have turned that on, we can go here to in-place mass. We can just call it mass one. That's okay. And now we can get started modeling. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go here on to level one, and then let's go here to the rectangle tool, and then let's simply create a rectangle. Maybe it can be 30 by 3 meter rectangle such as this one. And actually, I'm just going to select it and kind of extend it a little bit. Maybe that's a bit too far, but I just want to kind of distort it a little bit because I think that's what that building that I've shown you looks like. It's just a little bit kind of distorted like like this perhaps and let me show you just the uh, the image here so just a second there we go so this is the image as you can see I, I it doesn't look like a complete rectangle to me or just a, a regular like a square building in the floor plan I think it's just a little bit distorted so that's that's just what I'm trying to kind of recreate here maybe something that looks sort of like that or I don't know. Anyways, uh, once we have created kind of the, the base of the building, uh, let's then go to the 3D view, which you can find here on the quick access toolbar. And then we can just take a look at what we have here. Uh, now, once we've selected the kind of the, 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 the bottom of the building that we have created, uh, we can go here to copy the clipboard and then go to paste and then paste it to a selected level and then just paste it on level two. Here, you just select level two, click OK. And as you can see, that is now above. And I think this looks fairly okay. So now what you want to do is select both profiles like this and then go to create forms and this, or to create form, and this is what we have. Uh, moving forward, what you want to do is select one of these points at the edge and then move them all the way 
down just like that so uh, try not to go all the way down because you might get an error like this one so let's just go like this like really close perfect go to the second one and yeah, then you can just repeat the whole thing go really close down or you can even leave that one a little bit up it's really up to you and then we get something that looks like this now because this is an atrium building we have that kind of uh, a little uh, opening in the in the middle there it's you can have some sort of a garden or something like that we have to create that as well and for that we have to go back into level one and then here in level one again let's go to lines start off from here somewhere we can follow the parallel here up to that point then maybe go like that here maybe like this hit the escape key and then here let's follow this parallel and now you can notice when we escape out of this this now kind of blocks that part below those lines we can no longer see and the reason for that is because we just have to switch this to wireframe and now the form that we have created is transparent and we can see down through to the lines that we have created and finally we can just use the trim and extend to corner tr is the shortcut to fix this little corner here hit the escape key a couple of times and then also if you just take a look at this image uh, the outside seems to have kind of uh, sharp edges, but the inside seems to have kind of little filleted edges. So I'm just going to kind of duplicate that by going here to the fillet arc tool. Uh, and then just make sure that the placement plane here is set at level one and that the draw on work plane is selected. And then you just can create those little kind of fillets here, here, and then here as well, and then here also just like that and then we can go to the 3d view uh, we can go down below select that profile that we have created go to create form and expand the drop menu and then you can find void form and when you select that it's going to create a void like this you can extend that and this is what we get so as you can see it looks quite interesting now of course to make it look even more interesting we have to add all of the levels so once we have created the completed mass we can just go here to finish mass and this is what we have now and now let's add the levels there so for the levels what you want to do is uh, simply go here to the massing and site tab and there we have uh, a tool that or if we just select the sorry if we select the mass there we have a tool here on model to mass floors but for that we have to select levels and notice that here we don't really have that many levels so what you need to do next is go to the elevation one of the elevations like the south elevation uh, then let's go to architecture go to level ll is the shortcut and then we can use the pick lines and let's create an offset of something like four meters okay that might be a bit too much let's try or let's do four at the bottom oops just like that and then we can continue with uh, 2.5 or oh, let's go 2.6 I don't know something like that oops let's go one back okay so maybe the best way to continue now is just to select all of these or select the upper three go to copy check multiple and then you can just kind of do it in broad strokes like that and then create all of the okay so here this one we just need to copy up once perfect go to the 3d view and this is what we have so we have a lot of these levels uh, you can notice that these are don't really have any floor plans they're just kind of blank levels uh, so we're just not going to bother with those if you're not sure what that means check out my video on the levels uh, that's going to kind of give you a more broader explanation of that uh, but anyways moving forward let's now select this um, mass again go here to mass floors and now when we get the mass floors menu as you can see we have all of these levels so what you want to do is select the first one here and uh, just click here not in the checkbox but on the level itself when it highlights in blue you go to the bottom here uh, where it says level 16 you hold the shift key and you click on that level 16 and as you can see it's just going to highlight all of them and now wherever you click here in the checkbox they're all going to be checked so it's a quick way of checking off all of them uh, click ok and there we go we have our mass 
levels or mass floors. Uh, now, of course, these, if we just take a look at like this, they are just kind of generic mass floors, so they don't really have any thickness. So what you have to do is then uh, just move over here to massing and site, uh, go to floor, and then here uh, we have the generic 300 millimeter floor that comes with this template. And then basically you have to just select all of the floors like this. So you just make one big cross selection like that. Go to create floor, wait for a few moments. And now we have all of the floors there. Hit the escape key a couple of times and there we go. Uh, so now we have all of the floors and now you can select individual floors and if you want to make any changes uh, you can go here into edit boundary and as you can see we have a clear boundary of that floor so if you want to make any changes to that floor uh, you can do so so that's a really good kind of little additional option that we have uh, with this tool but there we go it, I think it follows the you know, the original building that we're copying really, really well. If I just move that image here, as you can see, the, the floors really follow that same structure or that same shape of the floor is the same curvature. We're getting the exact same thing here. So first time I was looking at this photo, I was like, okay, how did they figure that curvature out? It looks so interesting. But then when I tried it out in Revit, it's basically the default way when the level follows the kind of the, the entire shape this is uh, this is basically what you get so i think it looks really really cool in the end and it's as you can see it's very 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 simple and straightforward to model something like that yet it looks amazing so there you go that's how you can create shapes like this in revit i hope you have enjoyed this little um, uh, revit uh, gameplay tutorial if you're interested in a complete course on creating massing in revit and advanced modeling in revit as i said i do have that course uh, it takes you basically through everything you need to know about massing in Revit and all of the little tools and workflows and approaches and a little hacks along the way. So if you're interested in that, check it out. That's going to be the first link in the description. If you would like this project file as well as all of my other Revit project files, you can find that on my Patreon page. So make sure to check that out. That's the second link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. Make sure to comment if you have any questions, suggestions for future tutorials and so on. And I'll be back with another tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.